Hey guys, welcome to another Winemaker Wednesday. Gorgeous day here in Sonoma County. Let's take a look at this view behind me here. Incredible, loving it. I'm standing out here in the middle of this vineyard. This is Pinot Noir and harvest is here. Let's get to it. So just a quick one today, it's harvest, we gotta go. But let me show you what we're looking at here in this Pinot Noir vineyard. We are gonna start picking tonight, some night picking. Crews come by with headlamps on there, walking through the rows, picking the grapes out of there. We're gonna pick Pinot Noir for rosé. So our rosé is a nice, beautiful color that comes from the Pinot Noir grape. And let's show you what we're looking at here. All right, so as we walk down this row here, you can see the uh, Pinot Noir clusters. They're red, uh, red berries or purple berries poking out from underneath all the green leaves and the canopy there. And uh, we went through a sample today. We're getting about 20 to 21 bricks, which bricks is the measure of sugar in grapes. And so 2021 give us a nice uh, 13, 12 and a half to 13 alcohol, depending on how the yeast perform. So let's have a little taste of some of these and see what uh, see what it looks like. So with with rosé, Pinot Noir for rosé, we're not looking for really ripe black fruit flavors. Looking more for a light cherry cola, cran cherry, raspberry kind of flavors. Um, still very tart, sweet, but still tart. Um, kind of like sweet tarts when we were kids. Uh, we loved those kind of the similar sort of balance to it. Um, nice firm berries, colors coming out of the skins, but not, not too much. We don't actually want too much color to make a nice, to make a nice rosé. Another shot of the clusters that the crews will be grabbing tonight. Things hanging in a nice good position, easy to see. So at night, obviously it's dark and we got the headlamps on, um, but they're very super bright headlamps focused in on the fruit and right where the crew's hands are it's both men and women out here picking they do uh, they do hard work picking all these grapes it's sticky it's wet but picking at night does two things one um, the crews actually like the nighttime picking it's cool the wind has died down you can see the it's fairly windy out here today as it usually is in southern Sonoma County and uh, but it's nice and cool so it's easier for the crews to work at night from a temperature standpoint rather than being out early or midday in the hot sun and really uh, suffering and sweating under the hot sun so they they like working at, at night and doing the pick then and from a wine quality standpoint at night the fruit is nice and cool so during the evening it loses the the grapes leave the lose the temperature the heat of the day they cool off and then when they go in the press in the morning they're nice and firm lots of cool juice and it helps maintain a cool start to the fermentation so it doesn't run away from us if the grapes are really warm the fermentation would take off very quickly and we'd lose a lot of fruit characteristics because the fermentation would go too fast so we want these grapes to be nice and cool when they get picked and brought into the winery and doing that at night makes all the difference. All right, so let's have a little taste of some of these clusters over here. You can see what we're, what we're doing here. Grab a few, chew them up, spit them out. That's pretty much the process. Grab a couple of them, feel the skins taste the juice, the sweet tart that we talked about a minute ago. This tastes great. Um, that sweet tart balance is, is amazing. These are spot on, ready to go. Um, the skins are not giving up too much color just yet. And still nice and kind of crunchy, firm skins. Fruits in really good condition. No mold, no rot. Um, which uh, later on in the season can be an issue. But we've had really great, really great weather here the last few weeks. And next week it's supposed to warm up. 
So as uh, next week warms up, the sugar, the bricks levels are going to jump up and then it will be time to harvest for standard Pinot Noir, for red, red wine Pinot Noir. But this cool weather this week is absolutely perfect for making rosé. So we're going to do a little rosé this week. We're also planning to um, pick some of these to make some sparkling wine, like a Blanc de Noir. Um, so the process will be very similar, press them very light, get a very light color. Um, and then turn one batch into rosé, still wine, and another batch will turn into some sparkling wine, a little, little champagne from California. So we're looking, looking forward to that. We've never had that before. That's going to be amazing. And something we're going to try and experiment with this year. We'll see if we get it in the bottle or not. Um, but again, same process, pick the grapes at night, press them cold in the morning. And if we press them really, really gently, very, very low extraction, very low yield from the press, really low pressures, we will get zero color coming from these clusters. So really light, the first juice that comes out has actually no color to it. And if you ferment that, you make something called a white Pinot Noir. So we're gonna play around with that this year, see if we can uh, see if we can make one of those and how it tastes and kind of the style that we're after. And if we like it, then we'll stick it in the bottle and you guys can you guys can give it a try yourself. Um, so stay tuned for that. We'll uh, we'll keep you updated and see how that's going. All right, well that's it. Thanks for joining today. Beautiful skies, beautiful vineyard. Walking in the afternoon here, it doesn't get much better than this, but uh, I gotta get home and get some sleep because tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. Crews will be picking tonight, drop the fruit off. We'll be here first thing in the morning to get those grapes in the press. And uh, we'll grab some video of that, and show you what, uh, what that's all about. Super fun and exciting. So here we go, Harvest 2024. Let's get going.